in this video number 11 we were we will check the seismic drift and wind drift okay for the seismic drift we need we need to know the time period of the structure okay so we'll run the analysis so analysis completed and we will go to analysis and uh, frequency calculate dynamic frequency modes what's this uh, linear elastic okay so this one so we'll check the self weight only and let's say we'll just click ok so all of the degrees of freedom is considered this is 0.753 for the mode 1 and 0.68 for the mode 2 and this is the rotation for the mode 3 so I will just click stop exit let's say I will uncheck this X rotation and the C rotation so we have here X axis the degrees of freedom is X and Z axis and also the rotation in the Y so I will just click OK so I'm just investigating the behavior of structure so this is the mode 1 this is 0.4 seconds mode 2 and mode 3 let's say I will include all of this degrees of freedom self weight only click OK So for the mode 1, I have 0.739 seconds. So meaning 0.739 seconds to complete the one cycle from rest. So that's, that is the vibration property of the structure. So we will consider the 0.739 seconds. So in our case, for the seismic check drift so for the time period so this is uh, this can be seen in the code in ECP or UBC so mode 1 let's say 0.739 and the mode 2 is 0.633 Okay, so we'll just so we have point seven seconds. greater than 0.7 seconds so we will uh, get this h over to 97.5 so that that is equivalent to if we have 3.6 meter height divided by 297.5 so that is equivalent to 12 mm so the the allowable drift or the allowable movement of uh, succeeding floor is only 12 mm so if you have time period less than 0.7 so this is our allowable so in this case we'll just use this 12 mm so this analysis or this Okay, so we'll have here 0.7 seconds uh, greater than or 0.7 seconds. Okay, so we have 0.739 seconds. So I'll just say stop, exit, and I will go to analysis. 
and you will check the check story drip so i will just click these columns to be able to check all of the columns lateral drip and i will uh click uh check size uh, seismic drift x and seismic drift z direction so and our allowable is 297.5 provide report i'll just click ok so uh prime c is saying that failure in story drift due to load case number 17 seismic drift say so hint increase the size of some columns indicated in red color so we will just see what is the value of the drift induced by the response of the uh, induced by the earthquake so the the, the system will respond and there is a lateral trip so this is the report so it says that the allowable is 12 as we compute and this is the column element number so the column element number is located at this one so column number so this is it one two three four cancel and i will just click so one two three four so one column element one the story drift is two and column two is the story drift is 21 so this is the actual drift and this is the allowable so meaning this is fail this is uh, along x so that's why we have to rotate the column or we have to to reorient the column let's say this is 450 mm along this x direction because this is 8 meters okay and the height the factor of the height of the building is um, the height factor is very I mean because the stiffness as the column increases in height the stiffness uh, becomes lower or smaller so in this case we will uh, resize the column or we can reduce the structure uh, if we can reduce the the mass the masses uh, it, it will help to reduce the the seismic forces so that that is also one option and also uh, add the material strength or the concrete that is one of another option and also precise the column so that is the another option okay so this is how to check the seismic trip so we will just uh, maybe uh, i will just investigate the model and i will just run it and but by the way this is just how we do the checking in seismic trip okay so for the wind trips i will just uh i can get this file here and put it in analysis i'll just close this one and also we will check the wind drift so for the wind drift we have here uh, wind drift x and wind drift y so the allowable is let's say h over 400 so that is from this code service I'm in here in the ultimate Okay, this is the drift of wall and frame so for this two story technically the wind is not uh, dominant so let's say l over 400 so for the wind the parapet is the failure so by 
but this one is not uh it's not uh this is okay because this is just for the two story parapet uh column okay so it will print the report and what to do is for the wind all of the columns are adequate so for the seismic that is uh, we will resize that one or we can also resize that one but this is the uh, wind wind uh, drift checking so all are passed except at the parapet wall and that is okay uh, so that that it that column is acceptable in size okay so we'll just uh, resize the column use this is 400 by 450 click ok click ok so this column are now I mean I can check the size of the column section number so this is I will deactivate the column number so 450 by 400 So this should be 400 by 450. Update this one, and I will just click. Okay, this is 400 by 450. Click OK and click OK. Oh. I will, uh, I will select the column and I can also rotate the column so this column should be 400 by 450 so right click edit pin or edit column 400 by 450 Okay, so we'll just run. I think there is a factor to be considered in checking the modal that modal time time period because the procedure here in PMCE unlike other software uh, the other software has its own modal analysis and I mean all uh, the other the other software or the model analysis uh, is different for for some other softwares the procedure the analysis procedure so that's why in some software you will get a, a different value of time period because there is a calculations consideration for using another analysis so we have here 15 mm for the allowable and the storage drift is 19 mm so that is around 1 mm to 2 mm so I will just uh, but in our case 
we the the we will be using 297.5 so i'll just i just run it to 238 l over to uh, h over 238 but we we have to use this h over 297.5 okay so i will just select this one and this is 297.5 so the allow uh, what will happen is the allowable will become smaller it will become 12 mm for the column with the 3.6 meter height so in this case so we have 18 mm so 6 mm difference so we can precise or we can review the the, um, the masses because in our slab we can also use 1 to 5 125 mm thickness or 100, 100 130 mm thickness but we use 150 mm for the slab uh, analysis in design so that is one factor to 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 reduce the the earthquake forces by reducing your element sizes if it it is uh if we if we were not altering the minimum code requirements so to be able to reduce the seismic masses and the seismic forces so that's it for the checking and i will just make another video for the continuation